who is the Almighty God, kind, forgiving, the lifter of our heads and our, the compassion of God. In the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour, Restorer and the Prince of Peace. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Teacher, the Helper and the Comforter. I call this gathering and the ground on which we are standing the final resting place of our brother Taj Magaskar, holy, sacred, and a place of rest and peace. I, de I declare the blessing of Almighty God over this unveiling and over this gravesite in the name of Jesus. And although this ground reminds us of a young life taken too soon, let it also be the place where we've all come together, together once again, to celebrate and to remember Taz's beautiful life. He was a kind-hearted, welcoming, generous, fun-loving soul that we all had the pleasure of knowing. I plead the blood of Jesus over this area and call it protected from any harm or evil. I declare this place a place of blessing, a place of peace, a place of comfort. In the name of Jesus Christ, the most powerful name this side of heaven. Let's 
sings my song. This sings my song. Oh, may I say, God to me. How great thou art. How great thou art. How great thou art. Some of us are a bit rusty on a Sunday morning, aren't we? It's not like Saturday night. Sunday morning, the voices are the. I'm going to say a few words just before we proceed and go on to the full melody. The Huda Kuatu, as it's known in the Māori language or unveiling, is a place for all of us the immediate family, close friends, distant relations musician friends and all other acquaintances to remember and to celebrate the life of our brother Tash. Some of us here today, we were unable to attend Taj's tangi 12 months ago. And so for some of you, this is your time of saying farewell. But for the majority of us, my goodness, the year has passed so quickly, hasn't it? And the memories of that heartbreaking day are still very fresh and raw to many of us. Hearing the news of our brother's passing is still very hard for, for some of us to come to terms with, even 12 months later. But today, as we gather together all once again, today is a time of remembrance, reflection and celebration. So let's try and remember all the good times, all the hard case times that we had with our brother Taj. Today we gather as one big family and focus on the unveiling of Taj's headstone. And in the Māori culture, many believe that the spirits of the dead were watching over the living. And for this reason, Māori families would hold unveiling services and blessings of the gravestone as a way of remembering and paying their respects to those who had died. So today, we remember Taz's life. Today is an awesome celebration of a life well lived. Taz was a man who loved life. He was a man who laughed, a man who sang, and also he had a real soft, sensitive heart. He was a man who wasn't afraid to cry. Taz was the sort of person who, while singing up on stage, would suddenly pause when you walked in the room. And he would find a way with his eyes to pick you out of the crowd. And he had a way of making you feel like you were the only person in that room. Can I get an amen for you? Amen. amen. He, did it, he did it to all of us. A very special man. So, as we move on now to unveiling the stone, I'd like to invite Taz's brothers, Tuck and Tyson, to come and gather as they prepare to unveil Taz's headstone. Where are they? And Ray too. Who's Ray? Yeah. 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 Can someone find him, please? Come on, boys. And before we do that, as the boys are coming to uh, to the headstone, I'll get Dean to pronounce a Māori blessing over the headstone. <laughs> Inoi mo te koha, koha tu maharatanga e te atua kaharawa ata, ata whai hoki e inoi mātai ki a koe e te atua mātua i runga i te whakapono i hiu karaiti ato mātou kai whakaora tēnau mātou e inoi atu nei ki a koe e te matua whakatapua tēnei koha tu ko whakaarahia nei hei hei whakamaharatanga mō tau pōnonga uh, Rain, Rain doesn't feel comfortable coming over to his DT stadium at the moment. So, uh, Jeff, you want to came with me? Heavenly Father, 
We ask that you, Lord, would bless this headstone today as a memorial to your servant, Taz Magaspi. May the blessing of God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the power of the Holy Spirit be upon this memorial stone as a sign and a symbol of the family's continued love and support for Taj. We declare these things in Jesus' name. And as they're doing that, folks, Vanessa uh, has requested that the song Woman in the Sky be sung by myself and, and I'll give my brother Dean over here. Beautiful, wasn't it? Beautiful. He would have loved that. He, he, he would have loved that. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Taz Te Ahu, 2405-1980 to the 4th of September 2030. Treasured son of Norman and Geneva, beloved brother of Ethan and Tyson, proud loving father of Rain Te Ahu Jean, true love of Vanessa Chilo, Kofaka Moiho Te Maunga, Ko Hiki Taya Te Awa, Ko Tai Nui Te Waka, Ko Whenua Te Tangata, Ko Nga Te Pū Te Hapu, Ko Nga Te Maru Te Iwi, Ko Matai Fitu Te Marae. Peace. May your beautiful soul sing with the angels. Yeah. Did you want me to read that too? Off there? Do you want me to? You want me to? Right. Dear Dad, this is from Rain. I love you more than anyone in the entire world. Remember when we were wrestling and I used to smash you? <laughs> <laughs> and when we used to play football and smash each other? I love that. You're the man, but I'm the man too. <laughs> I miss you so much. Love you forever. From Rain. Yeah. Beautiful, right? Yeah. It's in ribbon in the spot. and say a few words and we unveiled the uh the, the headstone so that um you know would be talking to Taj. that's why we did it that way so first of all i'd like to warmly welcome norman 
Taz is there to come forward and say a few words. That's telling everybody who he is, where he's from. Um, because he's here, that's his connection back home. Okay? And uh, his mountain, his water, his canoe. And uh, the Marae who hopefully belongs to
last year. I'd like to invite um, Taz's mum to move up to come and say a few words to you, please. Good everybody. Thank you so much to all of you for coming. Come and say a few words.
Tyson, uh, it was the next one that was going to speak, but Tyson, I think it's great for both of them, so I think it's a little bit uncomfortable at the moment to talk. So, uh, you know, it's interesting now, I look around this, uh, this gathering here, Tyson would have loved the fact that his one was the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> the little one there, little one here, little one, and the big one right in the middle. I love that man. I'm going to get um, the love of Taz's wife to come and say a few words now. Um, Vanessa. I'm just going to sit in here. So. You're right, you stay right there, dear. I just want to thank everyone who came from all around and all that have each other so far to be here to celebrate Taz's love and his life today. Um, Superstar, as he told us. 
Right, it's my time, right? Just right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my cousin. Anything, anything you need. See money, right? <laughs> <laughs> Love and respect this nigga he say he uh, with the footprint on this world I don't think any of us could ever reach. Um yeah. Chill bar. <laughs> Now, I know all of you reckon you're Taz's best friend. <laughs> this is one of his real best friends. Todd, Todd Hallowetter. Let's come and say a few words, buddy. Please put your hand in. before I got here and it's sort of going out the door now. Well, my, my brain. Looking deadly as ever. And I mean that in a good way. <laughs> always, always looking sharp. <laughs> but, um, well, Ness, what an awesome job you've done. Um, I don't know how hard you've been working throughout the whole year with, with the whanau. And Mama Lowe as well, she'd been there with the support. And um, yeah, my brain looks awesome. She looks awesome. Um, I also want to acknowledge Jamie, um, Randy Boy's mum. Your mum is a big deal, your dad, Bob. such an honour for um, Taj to ask me to be um, Randy's godfather as well as Mahi. I do a little box of myself and cuddles. And uh, it's, been a, it's been a hard year. Um, especially for my boy too, he's um, Taj's godson. So I just called him Chucky, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny when he was born, the, uh, the doctor said some uh, unnecessary words and I was nearly going to knock him out there. <laughs> Once he popped out and said, oh, you should go check him with me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my boy was Taj's Chucky and they were so close. And, Awesome to be able to come here now and um, see the post face. Um, just for myself, I know all of us, especially Ness and all the fun. Um, so we know that church is going to go away. But today was big for me. I've been holding a lot in. 
Well, today is the day to release the release of my boat. And now uh, start trying to be happy again. I had a lot of anger inside me. Especially the day I found out, you know, I was all the way up in Mackay. And I was usually the first one to be there for him whenever he needed me. And now, uh, it was just awesome that my darling went up to the hospital and had the phone next to his ear so I could tell him I loved him. And miss you, my nigga. I've got so many memories of this fella, and they're all hard case. So many drunken escapades, <laughs> him falling asleep in my fridge, <laughs> well, in my freezer, and I thought he was eating my ice cream. <laughs> um, but one of my greatest memories, I, I sang with, with Taj for so long. We were a duo for so long, and We'd sing together and then not sing together and then hook up again. And, but one of my treasured memories will, will be with Tom in First Division. Mermaid Tavern. We created something and we had that place rocking. And, you know, Taj and I used to drink a bottle of Southern Comfort straight out of a bottle in the car before our first set. And everyone used to wonder why, how, could, how we could even do it. And then we'd take a break and then go out and drink another bottle. And then by the end of the gig, I'm either standing on the table, going like this, or he's asleep on the TV behind me, <laughs> hooking in the TV. And one of my funny, funniest memories was, uh, you know, the lights would come on. Taj is hooking in the TV and the whole crowd, the place was packed. Time is over there and everyone's just going, Bro, what's going on with Tom? Oh, nigga, wake up, bro. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and all I could do was, uh, it was quite funny, because that's when the song Apologise came out. And all I could do was turn around and go, well, it's too late to apologise. <laughs> but anyway, Fano, um, thanks to you all for all coming around tonight. Um, it's going to be an awesome day. Tonight's just gonna be awesome. So I'm sure there's a lot of you that have got a few sick days up your sleeve. So uh, text your bosses now, because uh, you won't want to miss out tonight. But, um, love you, my bro. Proper name DJ Tums. <laughs> 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 Sleep 
days, months, thinking you know, how do you how do you really express how what someone means to you? What impact another person has on your life? What's not your life? What's not your mum and dad? This is someone you met out and about. go on for days, weeks, months, the impact that Taj had on myself, my family. It's like, it's like the president that just exudes charisma everywhere we go. I hated it because it takes forever to get something to eat. <laughs> Mates, man. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, man. Hang on, man. Just hang on, man. You hang on, mate. <laughs> it happened lots of times, so I just stopped going. Because it's just, just how we rolled. Everywhere he went didn't even matter. Anywhere, everywhere. Just do something. Just immerse himself in whoever that was, you know. Just stop and just talk and he just remember all this stuff that I don't know if he's making it up, but <laughs> he just knew everything. I'm like, oh man, don't lie, man, you don't know. <laughs> and he would just break it down, yeah, man, yeah, boy, yeah, yeah, this and the guy, and I've done this wedding for the moon, and the daughter's doors, the limos, and all this other stuff. I was like, nice. mixes. But that was truly. You really need to just remember and care. Just care. You just care. I didn't. He did. <laughs> I'm just like, man, I'm busy. I'm being here. I'm something to eat. You get to. I'll wait here. And he'd always, you know, come back and just, he just took it in, in every stride. And it's just something that, that, you know, I just couldn't believe. You know, that someone could just do that and just, he could just, just turn it on. All the time, and but he really meant it. <coughs> it's rare, and it's it's so unique that you know you get to meet someone who is a mirror of your own dreams, who is has as much drive towards the same goal as you. It's someone that finishes your sentences and stuff, and. Someone who's proud of you and someone who believes in you. And that's that's the biggest thing is, is just having someone believe in you. Because you know you just you struggle at times. You just struggle at times with, with you know what you want to be. And to have a larger than life front man out, out, out front, you know, taking all the bullets and you just get to kick back and She's been beautiful. beautiful girl, nice. But to mirror your dreams and pursue them more bigger. You know, he just get in his teeth and just and just be non-stop pushing towards it. The impact for me he's selfish for like ten months. Thinking, you know, what about me? All that sort of horse radish. The word that comes and it took a long time is to be grateful. Grateful for the time I had. Grateful for what I've learned. Grateful for that that, that, that pocket of time where just for having me and, and, and my own immediate family, but I'm grateful for the people I've been introduced to. I'm grateful for 
know, learning compassion and loving and, and understanding, which I never had before. And I needed that. Because there's a lot of anger in somebody else's fault. But I'm grateful, I'm grateful and, and, and I look around here and, and the impact is, is massive. So many people here, so much love here. And, I'm grateful for that. I really, really am. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for every every person that's here. And it just blows me away because he'd be laughing, you know? That's right, Dolly. That's right. That's right. You know. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, uh, I always uh, admire that, I don't know, what do you, you know, confidence that, which is killer stuff, man. Who says that? 